What up, guys? Team X here, bringing you What's Cracking 19, and today we are here with... Kudabore. Jay Tunkum J. Uh, and my name is Aiden. <laughs> Damn it. And your host, Gangster Prankster. So, you might hear a sort of familiar voice. Um, do you want to explain yourself, good sir? In the no. land down under. It's quite all right. Fuck you, you bloody wanker. You better tell us who your name is. I'm what sorry, your name is? <laughs> I can't British. do it. British. So Scorpion's been a lot of time somewhere else, and he picked up an annoying habit. So, there you go. That's it. I'm visiting family down under. Yeah. So that's Scorp. He's just going to be doing an Australian accent the whole time because he... Yeah. I don't know. He's crazy. I'm going to spice things up for you guys a little bit. <laughs> Terrible. Hey. Don't make me sick my dingo on you. <laughs> okay, uh, well... Uh, <laughs> first yeah, thing, what? one of the best articles I've read in a long time um, was about this guy and a girl. They broke up, and the girl's a dentist, and the guy uh, who broke up with this girl decides, I need to go to the dentist. And when he went to the dentist, she... Oh, no, no, no. First off, he went to his ex-girlfriend for the dental surgery. <laughs> all right, you explain. Dude. Okay, okay. So all of the wood gangsters said he needed dental work. His ex-girlfriend's a dentist. He's like... Yo, I can get some cheap work done because my ex-girlfriend's a dentist. You know, I broke her heart. Oh, yeah, this is I left her in, like, tears. But you know what? She'll probably feel super happy to be working on my teeth. So, <laughs> while the guy's knocked out and she's working on his teeth, this is her words. She's like, I thought, eh, why not? I'll take out all his teeth. And then she did take out all his teeth. And then he didn't find out for, like, I think a couple days later because he had his mouth all wrapped up. And she's like, you can't feel your teeth because of all the drugs. And he's just like, okay, I'll believe my <laughs> ex-girlfriend who just totally worked on all my teeth. Blah, blah, blah. Anyway, long story short, no teeth, gum and everything, to, you know, and it's her fault. It's hilarious. Ripped out all his teeth after he ripped out her heart. So, so she ripped out his teeth, <laughs> fucking teeth. You think when she was ripping out his teeth, he loves me? He loves me now? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, that's a good one. So. Yeah, that was funny. <laughs> and then the well, last you one. have like, what, like 30-something teeth? Like 32 teeth? I don't know. Uh, I'm not Which one that. do you think she ended up with? <laughs> you gotta think she'd feel pretty bad if it was she loves me. Oh, god. Maybe she pulled out his wisdom teeth, too, and did him a favor, you know, like, that was on the house. Like, well, he never has to go to the dentist, so yeah, she did him a favor. Uh, except for all the, you know, <laughs> replacement teeth surgery. I don't think he wants dentures. He wanted, like, you know, porcelain veneers or some shit. He's gonna go for a cleaning and the fucking... <laughs> yeah, minor dental surgery. That. Teeth are all gone. <laughs> he can do the tiny wine where he gets the gold teeth. So, I think she's going to jail. Yeah, oh, yeah. She's, she's facing three years in prison. And uh, the best part is this guy's new girlfriend dumped him because he has no teeth now. So, oh, that was, yeah, that was the icing on the cake. <laughs> Karma is a <laughs> bitch. I think maybe she dumped him for going to see his ex-girlfriend. Well, hopefully his ex-girlfriend that he just broke up with isn't a lawyer. And then he goes to her for, like, legal advice <laughs> to sue her. And then she ends up, like... Oh, like, owning his house or something. That'd just be, like... Oh, my God, that'd be hilarious. So, Tunkum, your girlfriend's there. Now, can we talk to her real quick? She just went outside. Okay, don't worry about awesome. it. Well, if you broke up with your girlfriend, and she happened to be a dentist, would you go to her, to knock you out, and do work on your teeth? Um, no, I wouldn't. Like, before the, hearing the story, like, before all this, no. would you have even thought about it? That would be so incredibly awkward, not to mention I would be terrified, <laughs> especially if it was all my fault that, <laughs> like, if I cheated on her and then go have her work on my teeth while I was knocked out, no. I wouldn't have her working on my teeth if I was awake, because, oh, She'd just, fine. like, rip open your gums and shit and be like, oops. Yeah. Like, oh, she could floss hard, and that would just, like, piss me off because it hurts so goddamn much. <laughs> like, Scorp, what about you? Good what idea? does the Australian man have to say? Yeah. No, I think this man, this young chap's pretty stupid. 
<laughs> I agree, Mike. I agree. <laughs> yeah. It's a great story, though. Oh, that, that is, is a like wonderful fucking story. Hilarious. <laughs> One who's dumb enough to go to their ex girlfriend for it's anything. It's almost as good as the story where I got blacked out, came to, and saw kangaroo. <laughs> 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 we are oi kangaroo <laughs> got socks on shared like a fosters with him you know australian beer did you black <laughs> out at the dentist and then you woke up and you're like this dingo is a kangaroo staying over me no there wasn't a dingo they don't let dingoes into the dental office <laughs> was your dentist a kangaroo uh, i have no idea <laughs> See, the kangaroo was the assistant, right? Assistant. And he had all the teeth in his pouch. And so Squirp was like, Oi, kangaroo, give me back my choppers, mate. Because they call teeth choppers, I'm assuming. Cause they're, you know, no, we don't do that. You're full I'm of shit. I'm kind of offended. Call them choppers. <laughs> but that's not, the only, that's not the only great article that came out this week. Oh, There's yeah, another one. Dirty. Almost oh, just as good. Wait, I can't wait. So in Czech Republic... <laughs> You know, there's thieves all over the place, you know? I've been there. Petty criminals, you know, steal someone's wallet. Well, these guys are like, what the fuck can we steal? So they had a plan to steal a 10-ton bridge. Uh, yes, they they stole a 10-ton bridge. They pretended to be like they were working on it. And they fucking... Un- I don't know what they did with the bridge <laughs> or how they took it out, but they, they stole the bridge. They stole a fucking how do you hide that? Where did they take that to? I don't know. They've maybe they put it on the bigger bridge. They <laughs> they used a crane to pick up large pieces. A cop stopped them, and he just they showed him paperwork, and he's like, "All right, you can take the bridge." Hello, sir. <laughs> <laughs> the take it. We don't we want it. <laughs> Is he a bridge here? <laughs> You're gonna uh, have to vacate your vehicle. But it sounds crazy, right? It sounds like something ridiculous. Who steals a bridge? The best part. The best part. My favorite part. This isn't the first time it's happened. Uh, in 2008, thieves stole a four-ton railway bridge outside the city of Cheb, which is also in Czech Republic. So they have a history with uh, people just loving their bridges and just jacking their bridges, dude. Walking That's... away. <laughs> oh my god. Did they get the bridge back? Did they recover the bridge? Uh, the the people were caught and they were trying to sell the scrap for five thousand. Or no, that's a different story. I don't know. <laughs> I'd be pretty peeved if I was going to work and I see these mates over there taking this bridge. Like, hey, boy, mates. no mates. I got a dry boy. Mate implies friendship. You don't get your. You they know. took two hundred meters of railway track. Oh, God, that's pretty awesome. Though. Fucking ridiculous. Did they do it in like one day or did they do it? Uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> but they did in broad daylight where everyone could fucking see. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, they probably had hard hats and hard shoes and yellow orange jackets or something. Yackets. They were looking the pop. Yackets. Yackety yackets. Uncle, is your girlfriend there now? Yeah. Hi. All right, can, can we ask Hello. her about the dentist? How's it going? About the dentist? Uh, okay, so Kuda, just quickly repeat the... Okay, there's this guy, he had an ex-girlfriend, he had, like, just broken up with her, and she's a dentist, and he needed some dental work done, like, some pretty major surgery, like, knocked out, you know, so you don't feel anything surgery. So he asks his ex-girlfriend, and she says, sure. Well, while she's doing the surgery on the knocked out guy, she pulls out every single one of his teeth, and that's pretty much the end of that story, so... You can uh, see her face... <laughs> no, it's probably like, oh, yeah. So, yeah. gangster, what was your question? Because I have no idea what you're going to ask. Me. What would you do with Tunkum if he broke up with you? <laughs> <laughs> Why did I have to tell her the story for that? <laughs> well, I'm more respectful than that. I wouldn't take out all his teeth. I probably... Just, just half. She don't Not... take out the front ones. Not She's still them. living up to the gate. I'd probably break his glasses or something. Oh, uh, glasses can be pretty replaced. Mean. You gotta, like, break something that he'll never get back. Like, you know, his left eye. Just break that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my eyes are as useful as tits on a bull. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, if you were a dentist and Tunkum had, like, cheated on you and you broke up and he was like, can I get some dental work done? Would you just turned him away or would you have... I would have just turned him away. Okay, you so wouldn't have been all So, psyched. like, during the surgery, I wouldn't have, like, any hard feelings and be, like, start taking out all his teeth and, like, like punching him or something. Like, oh, why not? She's just taking a Sharpie and sort of drawing on him. <laughs> I think you'd notice. Okay, well, that's great. That's 
proven sure right there, not to... all women are crazy. So most of them, no. just the majority. <laughs> majority, yeah. Uh, Some like me have respect. And all of them from Western Europe. Oh, that's and, great, Tunkum. You got a very rare, uh, you know. Yeah, woman. I wish my girlfriend bought me a PS3. <laughs> so, and spaghetti. Anyway, thank you, Kuda. You're welcome. And Modern Warfare 3. Da- damn, Tunkum. What didn't she buy you? Shit. His laptop. Oh, yeah. okay. Awesome. No, my dad was. Tell her that should be on the list because yours is pretty crap. He was going to, but I already I'm had going one. To buy him, I'll, I'll go to buy him another laptop but my but he said no so i was like okay and then my dad was thinking about getting him an ipad and then he said no so uh, why don't you just give him the credit (laughs) (laughs) well talking if she's ever gonna buy you something you don't want it send it my way because i complimented her that one time on youtube Well, because my half of my family is asian so (laughs) chinese and um as soon and my Grandma, she's very, very um, traditional. So as soon as she oh, met, so you're gonna say wealthy. She just, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she just immediately gave him a 100 bill. And then when my mom saw him, she she also did it too. So right within like five minutes of being in Cali, um, he just got two hundred dollars right away. <laughs> hey, Tom, why are you doing so this. <laughs> She just let out a big secret. So I only know, marry dude. Chinese women. <laughs> Traditional. Is it, is it just Traditional. Asian or just Chinese specifically? I'm um, pretty sure. Um, it's not. I think Chinese specifically, but it just depends on the tradition it goes back to, because that's how my grandparents and my mom was raised. So. Oh, that can be dangerous information in the wrong. Hong Kong. Head, so. Hong, Hong Kong. Kong. It's Hong Kong. Hong Kong. Well, yeah, Hong Kong was separate from China until like what 1990. I don't know, yeah. something. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, well, we're way off topic. It's we pretty gonna... valuable. That's, I'm going to put that information in the back. In the back <laughs> yeah. That, that's good to know. I don't want a job, I'll just marry a Chinese girl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, the decks are coming off. <coughs> Your nickel bottoms are coming off? The, the decks are coming off. The Dax, I don't know what you're talking about, good sir, but if you're saying we're off topic and we need to go forward with what we're exactly talking what about, all right, you should have just said that, mate. So, <laughs> so I... moving forward from all this good, you know, dentist work and uh, stealing, stealing your bridges. bridges, I'm going to go steal a bridge tomorrow because it sounds super easy. <laughs> they almost <laughs> took the fucking term burn bridge, burn a bridge, uh, like literally, they just stole the fucking bridge. Like it's like fucking who throws a hat? Who steals a bridge, right? Hey, I like shoe, awesome whatever. powers. Yeah. Who, throws who throws a shoe? A yeah. Who steals a bridge? I mean, come on. <laughs> God. All right. So, anyway. starting off with what's cracking. First off, according to a listing on Amazon, Activision is set to publish a new Family Guy game called Back to the Multiverse. Although, beyond uh, the product post on the retailer's website, there are no details on the upcoming title at present. Um, just to note, good. this is different from the free-to-play uh, Family Guy game that's in beta right now, which you can go Still play. Stupid. So you want to buy? No. Family I'm Guy f- game? Dumb. Yeah. I'm waiting for the South Park game, personally. It's still dumb. Well, Fuck you guys, do you like even watch Family Guy? Because God, I no. think from the title, there was an episode like based on that it was called like Back to the Multiverse, or they went to the multiverse. They went to like all these different universes where like all the characters from Family Guy were there. It was just like totally different. Like Meg was like super hot in one, and in another they were all Japanese. That was hilarious. Uh, so Kuda, another, let's ask you the important question: Are you gonna buy it? I don't know. I'm not, I don't blindly buy anything, and I have a rule where I don't buy games based on like TV shows, movies, anything, yes. unless it's like it gets renowned like across the board from everybody. So it's just like Diablo three. <sighs> no, not Diablo. Not out 3. yet. <laughs> Blizzard is the root of all evil, and things it's coming out soon. I hope they, you know, learn that they should you know, stop doing what they're doing because it's terrible. Uh, next, New Saints Row, the third DLC has been announced called Enter the Dominatrix. Uh, before this was actually revealed, uh, the company, uh, THQ, they, they put this out as a, uh, April's, April Fool's April Day. Fool's 
Yeah. And uh, it was actually true. So the story for the DLC is there's an alien invasion, and the Saints are badasses, so they have to save the world, of course. And uh, the main selling point for the DLC is the Saints get superpowers, which is pretty fucking awesome. Uh, the DLC doesn't have a release date, but it does have a price of thirty dollars. Now, before you freak out and you get all your knickers in a knickers in a like tangle, a bias introduction. Bias? How's it bias? I'm sorry, I zoned out. What were which you is, talking about? Which is talking, awesome. Knickers, knickers, knickers. We don't say knickers. We say that. Carry on. Um, <laughs> okay, everybody, stop right now. <laughs> this is fucking getting on my last nerve, and Kuda's gonna have a meltdown on fucking you know, the internet. So uh, this isn't regular stop. DLC, you know. This isn't um, like a map pack or something. This is an actual new story. It's gonna be disc based. It's gonna be like the um, Grand Theft Auto. Grand Theft Auto. Yeah. yeah. Ballad of Gay Tony, the motorcycle gang on. Well, one thing I have to say is Red Dead did this. They did this with Undead Nightmare. They did ten bucks for the DLC, and it was pretty much a new story mode, an eight-hour story mode, and it was only ten bucks. Why is this one thirty? Uh, I think this one's gonna be more expensive than. The Red Dead one, it's probably going to have, like, new vehicles, new costume, probably a whole new location, like, added to the map. A new city like and shit. It'll be yeah. Hours, if it's going to be 30 bucks, dude, half the price of a full retail game, it better be pretty fucking big. So now, what are your I, thoughts on you? What if your character doesn't carry over? Uh, I'm pretty sure it will. And if it doesn't, you know, eh, I don't care. <laughs> are you looking forward to this? Eh, sort of, not really. You haven't bought any of the other DLCs. No, I haven't. I've been reluctant just because, like, Saint, Saints Row is fun. It was fun, but hold after on, you get hold over on, the... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Cheap plug? Go watch our Let's Play that we're doing. Oh, okay, yes, we're doing a yeah, Saints it's, Row Let's Play. It's pretty it's great. It's incredibly great. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I don't know. The game... I'm not in it, though. It loses its, like, charm after a while to, for my, like, taste because it's crazy, and then you kind of get used to the craziness, and then what else has it got? Not much, in my opinion, so... I don't know. So you're not looking forward to uh, that will be decided. I don't know. To be I need decided. to know more information. I need to see videos on this before. Yeah. I, like, fuck, that's a must buy. Especially for 30 bucks, dude. That's ridiculous. Uh. So. It is. Yeah. Well, and some bad news. PSN will be going down for maintenance on May 9th for stuff and things. That is total horseshit. Wait, what day is May 9th? That Wednesday. Wednesday. That is total horseshit. <laughs> I don't know what the time zone was because it's all in British standards. The last time we gave this announcement, it like never went down, so who knows? <laughs> That's true. Sony likes to fuck like, us. Yeah, Sony keeps us like, you know what, Team Eggs? You're fucking wrong, all right? <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. Which is terrible because we plug like their shit all the time, and you know, so. They just try and I'm make sure we're bad. responsible for at least tens of dollars of worth of sales, so. Hey, I know I sold <laughs> at least five people on PlayStation Plus. Oh, God. Speaking of PlayStation Plus, a PlayStation email survey is currently making the rounds and asking some very interesting questions about PS Plus. Namely, how much would you pay for the subscription-based program if it included COD Elite and free new Blu-ray games? I think how that's much? stupid to put in there. Because that's... I don't know. PlayStation Plus is for the like every user. It's not just for the... 13-year-olds who play Call of Duty. I don't know. I agree. I think they should raise the price to include COD Elites. I think they should separate it. Like, Well, what if they do, like, bundle packages where not if you want a PlayStation PlayStation. and COD Elite, then it'd be cheaper, but they'd still have yeah, separate yeah, individual, like, packages. Like, they'd still have COD Elite and then PlayStation Plus by themselves. It'd but... be more work than... But hypothetically, if it did include COD Elite mm -hmm. and new Blu-ray games, like new games like Starhawk or any PS Plus or P PS exclusive game that's coming out, how much would you pay for it? Subscription like a hundred. Oh, so you're saying full like retail games, like yeah, new, brand new, day of, you get the game on PS Plus. What? Oh man, that's a tough one, dude. Because that's a pretty fucking good deal. And COD Elite, and on top of everything you already get with PS Plus. I could see that costing, like, $150, $200, dude. Like, minimum. That would be the cheap side. I wouldn't want to pay that, but I could see them charging that shit, so... But that's some good stuff to offer. I mean, not everyone plays Call of Duty. Completely understandable. 
Uh, but more games on top of the already expansive library they give us? I'd be skeptical skeptical as hell. Like, I didn't get PlayStation Plus for, like, a year because I wasn't sure what you'd be getting with it. Yeah, dummy. <laughs> and I didn't, like, go full in until you were like, yo, you're getting all this free shit. And I'm like, oh, why not? So yeah, You jumped in on January when they had a big sale, and then February. Yeah, it's been a good I, year for PS Plus so far. Yeah, hey, I'm Cuda. definitely getting banged for my bucks. So. How many dollars did you spend? On what? On PlayStation Plus. Fifty dollars. So you got the year? Yes. You I can can't get... understand everything you're saying. So you, you got the year. The year, yes. <laughs> Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Um. Shit. So I think that's a great deal. I'd like to see the new Blu-ray games. COD Elite, uh, sure, it's cool. I play COD, COD from time to time. Um, I don't know. It could be interesting. I don't know how much it would cost. Dude, if it was full Blu-ray games, too, that would eat up your hard drive. Like, there's no goddamn tomorrow. I could see so. it costing up to, like, $250, $300. Yeah, I, like, when I said 200 that is the lowest I could fucking see them charge for that. Because that is crazy. For a whole year, and they got to do, like, I could see them maybe, like, four games out of the year, like, Blu-ray discs. And even then, that's still, like, 240 bucks worth of game. So, mm-hmm. then again, you know, we did talk about, like, what, a couple weeks ago, the price point of games, you know, is probably going to be dropping, like, at least in the next year or two. All right, remember talking about that? Mm-hmm. I think that was last <laughs> yeah. week. But what about when they come with the PS4? You know, the game price will rise? Uh, no, dude, game. Cannot be continued to be sold for sixty bucks. Like as simple as that. There's too many. Watch what's cracking. <laughs> like uh, I don't want to have to give you this whole argument again. So. So PlayStation like, Plus is a great service already, right? And they give out yeah. awesome games, like Awesome Knots, which came out this week. Cuda, we've been playing the shit out of it. Oh hell yeah! We got a review. Oh sure. Do you want me to start it? Cause, start so. All right. Well, if anybody's seen, which I'm sure, you know, all our subscribers have, and if not, what the hell's wrong with you? Because, you know, we got, like, triple views <laughs> worth of subscribers. Anyway, Awesome this is your, like, you know, it's a side-scrolling, 2D, arena-based team based. shooter. Team-based arena-based shooter. And it's teams of three, red versus blue, to go destroy turrets to eventually get to a drill, to destroy the drill and win the map, all right? You got six characters, all different, unique in every different way imaginable. Each has got their own role. They got upgrades up to Wazoo. Like, you can customize, I think there's like, let's see, 15, 20, 25. There's like 30 or 40 upgrades per character that you can customize from. And, dude, it's, it's a blast. I don't, I don't know how to explain it. Sounds like a nasty blast. <laughs> it is pretty goddamn bananas. And I don't mean because there's a monkey in it, but it's bananas. <laughs> right? uh, if anybody hasn't seen it, yo, check out our videos. We're going to have you know, lots and lots of awesome knots videos, spotlights, whatever, so you can get a feel for the game if you haven't quite seen it yet or played it or whatever. Uh, yeah, it's a lot of, hell of a lot of fun. Right? And Everything free. works. free. Like- to PlayStation and Plus. Free. Yeah, that's like cherry on the goddamn cake. I didn't have to pay for this damn thing, all right? So. No. So, Kuda, let's give it a rating. I'm like three months into PlayStation Plus, and I've already, like, it's paid for itself. So, this is all, like, this is profit, you know, <laughs> if I could resell this shit. So, I don't know, Gangster, you got anything to say about it? Because, you know, I'm... Um, I really enjoy the team aspect, and you got to work as a team, and just, I don't know, it's a lot of fun. I, it's really, really addicting. I'm having a time... A good time playing it, and yeah, <laughs> I just <laughs> I love it. I just I really really enjoy playing it. Yeah, you level up like you do in Call of Duty, so it's kind of like you know you oh. want to push for that max level. You get new upgrades, you get something new every time you level up. It even has prestige. It doesn't even change the name. It's like yo, you can prestige when you get the max level, and then you start all over just like Kai did, and you get to go through all that shit all over again. It's got split screen. You can play multiplayer with split screen because yo know, usually it's Soul Divide, my brother, me, and Gangster playing, and it's dude, it's just. It's probably the best multiplayer game. Why in Jesus' ever. name? We don't know who the fuck Soul Divide is. Because in the mo- videos, we call him Soul Divide. And no, we call he's him in the videos? <laughs> yeah, he's like an honorary egg for for Awesome Knots because he's, he's, like, he's not so great. So we were like tagging Scorp, you're going to join us in some videos, right? I don't know who you're talking to. 
Aiden, you're going to join us <laughs> in some videos, right? Sure. No, because if he's in Australia, the connection would be shit. And That's I don't want to have true. to deal with that lag and shit. So. I'm sorry, Aiden. You can go sit on a pine cone. Uh, uh, so let's we got pine cones down here. <laughs> let's give this game a rating. Too warm for pine trees. Right, out of twelve on the egg scale, yo, I would give it my. I would give it a ten. Ten out of twelve on the egg scale. You give it a ten. Yes. I give it the same thing. I think it's really fun. Uh, you are limited to six characters, but that's not a bad thing. That's pretty good. It's whatever. More characters are going to be coming. DLC, hopefully some levels too. Uh, and we've we've been enjoying it. We're gonna upload videos of it. So yeah, yeah I hope you guys enjoy the ride because you know it's been fun for us to throw that shit out there on the internet. So, so continuing on, anyway. uh, Bethesda has officially revealed the name of their upcoming DLC for Skyrim. According to an image posted on their blog, the new DLC will be called Downguard and will launch on Xbox 360 this summer. No other details were given, but what would you guys like to see added? What? Well, if it's only Xbox 360... Yo. Well, it's like the COD... Windows? The what about computer? If it's Those Xbox, factors. it's also going to be computer. Just wait. Okay. Just, it's like Call of Duty. They <laughs> get it first, know. and uh, everyone else gets it last. Everyone else it's gets it. It's way better on, computer than it's on, a cons- on, on a console. Yo, it's one of those games that you RTX. It plays well on a console, though, so I really don't see the need to go play it on the computer, so... The menus have been, like, I could see Oblivion being better on a computer, cause, just because, like, the menus were, like, a bitch to go through on the console. But, dude, this one's simplified down to where it's easy-peasy, so I don't see what the difference is. So what would you like to see uh, added into the new da- Dawn Guard DLC? Uh, a new tech. Wait, you said it's supposed to be multiplayer, right? No. No. <laughs> no. Shut up. That's... XNA on the multiplayer. Hey, shut up. <laughs> anyway. Right. Oh, yeah. I just want to say, we don't have, like, exclusive information. This is uh, another thing that was announced, the Elder Scroll, Elder Scrolls Online, which I guess MMO. we can talk about after this, but let's get through this first. Uh, yeah. I would like to see, like, maybe a new school of magic, some kind of new magic. I don't know. The magic wasn't as fun in this one as it was in the other one, because you could, like, customize magic and stuff in Oblivion, but... I don't know. They, I, anything would be great because like there's a new a town, so new much. City. Yeah, new map, yeah. a new corner of the world to explore. That'd be nice, like a new type of environment because you know snow and mountains and forests. It's great, but, but I'd like to see. Yeah, they should put in an outback, fashion district. I don't know, dude. Something. <laughs> and as Scorpio yeah, alluded to, uh, Elder Scrolls Online was announced this week. Uh, it's a Going to be an RPG set a thousand years before the events of Skyrim. Uh, it's currently set to be released in 2013. Boy, and it's long time. Ah, too bad we'll all be dead. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, hey, don't worry. When it's 2012, you can call me because when it's there, there, it's, it's tomorrow here. Remember? Uh, shut up. Fast. <laughs> <laughs> no, like... no, go ahead. I'm yeah, not thinking that I, hard to figure out what it is you're trying to say, so... Uh, Science. Anyway, I guess... If you think it, the world has ended, you can call me, and I can confirm that it definitely is not. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, dude. Um, <coughs> MMO-wise, I hope it's not like World of Warcraft. That's like my best hope. I hate World best. of Warcraft. You're going to get three is factions. Is that why you think Blizzard is evil, just because of World of Warcraft? Uh, Sorry? mostly, yeah, it's a big chunk of it. <laughs> well, I hate World of Warcraft, and I love Diablo. Okay. Well, Starcraft, they ma- they're made by Blizzard 2, right? Yeah, Starcraft. Yes. And Any- anything that has a Warcraft in it, that's them. Um... Yeah, it's, uh, they need a new fucking franchise, because that's... They clearly really don't. They need to do they something, have, I'm tired of like, all these... The most popular games ever <sighs> I don't know why. I don't get it. So, anyway, I just pray to God it's not like World of Warcraft. Pay to play would just piss me off too because I hate paying for a game because then I feel like I'm forced to play it after like paying for a subscription and that's just not good. So do you and see? Go- be- you huh? see it going free to play right away? No, no. I don't think so, dude. I think it'd be pay to play just because they could see. I could see them trying to take down World of Warcraft with Elder Scrolls. They're gonna take so. down their own game. 
Bethesda, Bethesda, not Blizzard. And Blizzard are two completely different. Oh companies. yeah, okay, yeah. I forgot the Elder Scrolls was. Yeah, yeah I could see them trying to, because World of Warcraft, as far as I've heard, it's like subscriptions has been steadily declining like over the last year or two. So I could see them trying to like retake all those people that have stopped playing it. But I don't know. It could be I think interesting. If anybody has a shot to do it, it's Bethesda. Probably. They have the yeah. best world. Games. But whenever they've tried to take their like stuff online, it's never been like the best experience for everybody either. So I mean, brink total failure. <laughs> so well, they're gonna have to work hard. Yeah, Maybe. well, of course they will. They usually do. But I don't know. It could be interesting. It'd be nice to you know have another take on. How does this sound to you? A Fallout MMO. I would love Fallout MMO, dude. That. Uh, but, I don't know. I just love I have, I've Fallout never, I never really loved an MMO. So I don't know. Oh, well. I have. <laughs> you never played DC Universe online. Yeah, DC Universe is fun. Well, why are we partying up to take down Bizarro in Funhouse or Full House, whatever his name is? Well, <laughs> download it, and I'm going to come up with a, a good Australian superhero name. Aiden. Yeah, Aiden Captain the Dingo. Ozzie. <laughs> Did you say Captain Dingo? Captain Ozzy. Captain Dingo. That's good. Too. <laughs> That's There's a, a good Captain. One. There's a Captain Boomerang, and he's a villain, and that is the lamest freaking super villain I've ever heard of. So. Well, Gangsta said Captain. Well, Gangsta said well, I said Dingo. Aiden the Dingo. And I was saying uh, Captain. And then the name Captain nice. Dingo, yeah. <laughs> That's actually Something a good that tells me that name is probably taken already. <laughs> you can be Sergeant Dingo or Captain Dingo. There's Lieutenant Dingo, Dingo at your side this, Mike. <laughs> There's yes. other options. <laughs> Whatever, dude. I'm just... Uh, I don't want to talk about it right now. <laughs> yeah, back burglar. Tom, Tom. Uh, so last... I just think that's a fairly silly name. Cool. <laughs> Says the Australian. Uh, anyways, but... last week we uh, talked about the reveal of God of War Ascension. Well, some details have been revealed for the game. Uh, Sony says... This is a synopsis for the game. Uh, six months after being tricked into killing his wife and child, a younger Kratos is sentenced to a life of madness with the Furies, caged in a titan-sized prison for the living damned. Fighting insanity, his will will is tested and is tested to the limit as he seeks to break his bond and gain the clarity to seek revenge on Ares for his plan in the death of his family. Armed with double-chained blades, Kratos must take on mythology's darkest creatures while solving puzzles throughout his merciless quest of fur redemption. Now, that's that's great, right? That sounds like an awesome single player. But there's more. There'll also be co-op. I don't know and too much about it. I didn't read too much about it, but there's oh, going to be co-op. Nice. It's going to be online co-op, no split screen or couch co-op. And um, also, it's going to have multiplayer. This is the first God of War game that's going to go balls out, co-op, multiplayer, and a single player. Um, so the multiplayer will have... It won't feature Kratos, but rather nameless characters that feature, that players will opt to customize as they see fit. Uh, combatants can pledge allegiance to one of the four gods, Zeus, Poseidon, Hades, and Ares, and will receive special powers, bonuses, strengths, and weaknesses as a result. The, the, um, the multiplayer is going to be 4v4, and there's going to be seven maps on release. Interesting. Sounds pretty wild. I can't see how they're going to do it. Like, I can't see God of War playing as it is as a multiplayer game, so I think they're going to do it's some not, massive... It's really not going to play as it is. That's what I was getting at. Why? Thanks for interrupting me. Anyway, I was like, they're going to probably change the core gameplay mechanic for that multiplayer. Do you think this... don't know enough about the multiplayer. Do you think the single player will suffer because they're adding multiplayer now? Mm, probably not. I don't think so. Sure, it will. Tunkum, are you a God of War fan? Um, I'm not a huge God of War fan, but... Are you I'm looking good. forward to this? Yeah, possibly. I'll have to see what it gets. If it's... <laughs> I'll look at the reviews. Maybe you can get your girlfriend to buy it for you. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, this could be, like, I could see it being, like, the greatest God of War ever, or a tremendous flop, so, you know, who knows? It could go either way with me. Personally, I don't want to see Kratos again until, you know, PlayStation All-Star Battle Royale, so fuck it. I want... Well, you're not going <laughs> to. It's The game's coming out in 2013, All-Star's coming out in 2014. 
2012. Yeah. Well, there you go. So, yeah. I'm going to get what I want in the end. <laughs> if you pro- if you, they're going to be something like uh, if you pre order uh, like a special edition of what's it called? All Star, you could probably get like a demo for God of War Ascension or something like that. Uh, I don't think so because there's going to be so many different. Uh, what you call it, properties in the game that I don't think they'd focus on just God of War. So. Fine, they'll do it with a little big plan of carding then. I don't know, who freaking knows, dude? It's too Tony early loves for... to promote their games on other games. Yeah. Hey, did we talk about Owl Stars last week? I can't remember. Oh, uh, we sure as hell did, mate, but you kept believing because you're old Ma and Pa were talking about stuff. And I think that was the week. Well, I wasn't here last week. <laughs> yeah, I swear to God you were. I'm on the show. No. Oh, oh my God. Yeah. Scorpio wasn't here, or Scorpio was here, but Aiden wasn't here. So whatever, God. I thought Scorpio and Aiden were bestest buddies, and they told everybody, <laughs> each other, like everything. So. He's my cousin. I think you just have multiple personality disorder, and you've gotten goddamn insane, or batshit crazy, or <sighs> wanka. I don't know what the hell they call it. Yeah, <laughs> like, Bloody uh, dingo. Yeah, I think they call everything dingo. No, that's wrong. Uh, Confirmation whatever. on that? I forgot what we were talking about. Oh, yeah, I got out of war. <laughs> yeah, we're just wrapping it up. I don't uh, care. Last but, not least, it. last but not least, the newest Call of Duty game was revealed this week. Sequel to the game with the best ending ever, uh, Black Ops. Black Ops 2, the newest entry in the Call of Duty franchise. Uh, the trailer was released this week. Holy shit. And it takes place in 2005, 2025. And looks very futuristic. Lots of mechs, tanks, jets, ponies. Um, ponies? Yeah. You obviously didn't watch it. I don't care what shit, but ponies. Cootie, you seem to have a mouthful. What are you eating there? Ponies, dude. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> but yes. I figured you were talking about Black Ops, too, and I don't give two shits about it, so... Yes, a- apart from all the mechs and the tanks and the jets and all the futuristic shit, they have ponies. It, yeah, it, they have very big ponies. They're we pretty big. Those ones down here too. Yeah. Like, are they the kind of ponies you see down there, Aiden? Yes, sir. Yeah? <laughs> I can't call you Aiden anymore. God damn it. <laughs> Anyways, apparently the single player campaign will be the US versus China. Uh, finally, oh, Russia God. isn't the bad guy anymore. <laughs> Uh, the single player looks interesting. I'm already more excited for Black Ops 2 than I ever was Black Ops 1. And uh, also confirmed for Black Ops 2 is Zombies. Shocker. Oh, God. I thought it was futuristic, so it might have been oh, future zombies. alien zombies or, you know, like... Well, the last alien Call of Duty... Ninja zombie pirates. I don't know. <laughs> pirate zombies? Well, that actually sounds interesting. Alien ninja zombie pirates. <laughs> don't give them any ideas. <laughs> Uh, uh, the last black, the last zombie map had it was in space, so could have been yeah, hinting at it. I, I don't even care about Black Ops. Any game that Treyarch makes, I am automatically disinterested in it. So I will admit I am a bigger fan of Infinity War than I am Treyarch, but this game looks like it it could have some potential. They're finally moderni- modernizing their game. Stepping out of the Cold War. So what the hell are they going to call it, dude? Is it going to be, instead of Modern Warfare, it's going to be Modern-er Warfare? <laughs> like, no, it's just going to be Black Ops. Well, Black Ops, modern I was Warfare. not excited for Black Ops 1. And I'm really not excited for Black Ops 2. You gotta see the trailer. It is actually badass. Nah. I won't let a trailer, you know, trick me into liking it. I mean, it. Ghost Recon's going to be better. Are you going to buy Ghost Recon? Uh... Probably not. There you go. Shut up then. I probably <laughs> can't say this game's too. better, but I'm not going to buy it. Well, I won't buy either. You're not going to buy Black Ops 2? Probably not. I, I'm i going to admit, I barely wanted to buy Modern Warfare 3. I wasn't really, I didn't really want to buy it. That's full of shit right there. I didn't. How could you not want to see what's going to happen to like so? That was the only thing I was interested in. Everything else was just meant to me. And Black Ops... <sighs> The fact that it got the first one got best game ending ever. I don't know how they're gonna top that. That's really like mind blowing. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of what kind of die gave that earlier? Uh, uh, Guinness. Uh, What's the Guinness Book of World Records? They're like, dun dun la, Black Ops, you're the best. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
And then they all went and drank all whiskey and beat each other up. So no one's excited for Black Ops 2 in here? <sighs> no. Yeah, they must have been drinking a bunch of Guinness. Yeah, well, that was the point. <laughs> I don't know. Trailer nope. looked interesting. It looked borderline. Borderline. What? Borderlands? Like, Borderlands 2. It's a oh. great game coming out. <laughs> Can't wait. <laughs> Uh, Black Ops 2 Rise of Transformers will be coming out November 13 and it will have zombies. Get excited. That's it for the gaming news, but uh, we have one more thing before we wrap this up. An extremely awesome movie came out this week. Well, I don't know if it's awesome. I would have liked to watch uh, it. I would have liked to watch it because it's superheroes, but I'm not a big fan. Anyways, The Avengers. Avengers came out, and yeah. uh, it's been getting a ton of... Do not ruin of- any of this for me. I won't great. ruin goes. anything for you, I promise. I'll give a spoiler-free review, I promise. <laughs> so the Avengers came out. Very uh, detailed one. A ton of positive reviews. Kuda, you watched it. Give us the rundown. Give us a review. Okay, well, first off, if you're watching this now, you're lucky, because you're not going out opening weekend like I did, and I waited in line for an hour to get my ticket. To find out that the show we wanted to get into was sold out, and then so we had to get the next showing, and then we had another wait another hour in line to get into the theater, and so by the time the movie started, I was very disgruntled. I don't know if that made a difference in my experience, but anyway, here's the short and nasty. All right, so Avengers. Yeah. Since anybody who's a fan of the comics knows that it's like you know the culmination of Iron Man, Hulk, Thor. Uh, Black Widow, Hulk. Black Widow, Hawkeye, uh, and... Hulk. I well, I already said Hulk, but... Uh, Iron Man, Thor, Captain America, Hawkeye, Black Widow, and Hulk. Yeah, they're supposed to be... I was expecting Giant Man and the Wasp, Hulk. but they just, like, completely omitted those two. Like, they don't exist, whatever. Anyway, it's like all the superhero movies they... Oh, Captain America, that's what I forgot. All the superhero the movies that have been out recently, they're like, let's cram all the heroes together to form yeah, a team. Yeah, because they base their shit on the movies. Yeah, and an so they get them all together, and it's like, okay, there's a common threat. Let's go beat him up. It's basically it was way longer than I thought, like almost two and a half hours, I think, which would have been great. But there was just like so many lulls in the action, dude. Like it took forever for them to just get to like let's fucking fight. And I, when I see a superhero movie, I want to see. Them using their superpowers, not like, you know, talking shit out. Like, I don't know. That kind of turned me off. Yeah. Another thing that I'm turned me off. I'm to see it, though. I know. I was, like, super happy to see it. That's why I waited two hours standing in line, two different lines, to be able to see this movie. And Maybe. Like, I, my I thought only, you just loved the lines. My only other, like, qualm with the movie would be that they tried to, like, throw in humor a lot more than they should have, like... Especially with the Hulk, dude. The Hulk, a gangster, you would probably know better than anybody. It's supposed to be like this mindless creature of destruction, right? He's not like... He's like the anti-human. He doesn't have a lot of human characteristics, right? The character is just supposed to be like this heartless monster. Exactly. Like, he, he doesn't have, like, acknowledgement for good or evil or... He, he doesn't have any humor. How could a creature that doesn't have, like, a semblance of self have any humor? They put so much humor in the Hulk, dude. They just made him look, like, super friendly. A lot of people said this was the Hulk was a shining moment in the movie. Because it was, like, funny moments. Like, he would be kidding around as the Hulk, or, like... As the know. Hulk? What the fuck? Yes, as the Hulk, dude. This which is I, searching it up. Like, okay, w- just... I'm not gonna spoil anything, but it was just, like... There was just a lot of, like, laugh-out-loud moments, and I didn't like to see that in a superhero movie. I want to see more seriousness. Like, I don't know. That was just my personal take on it. Otherwise, great fucking movie. Great to see superheroes all doing shit, you know. The story was pretty decent. It was solid. It wasn't terrible. Like, you know, it could have been. Uh, eh, all in all, it was, it was an enjoyable experience, but I, it, I think it could have been better. I always think it could have been better. That's, like, my personal, like... Does Nick Fury have a big role in the Avengers? Besides, uh, aside from assembling them? Uh, well, he assembles them, and then he, like, you know, he gets them to, like, work together. Because I guess anybody who knows the Avengers is they don't, like, work together right off the bat. Like, they, they have don't... egos. Yeah, they all have egos. They all want to, like, vie for the top spot. They think they do better on their own. One's a god, one's a millionaire. Yeah, and they all kind of pull each other. To... He pulls them all together, sort of, kind of, I guess. I don't know. He does his job. He wasn't, like, super awesome. 
I mean, he shot down an airplane with the rocket. That's about it. Like, <laughs> great. Now I know what happens. Yeah, you know what happens. Too bad. Anyway, <laughs> I love the whole movie. It was great. There was just way too much. Like, there was a lot of dialogue, and they kind of crammed like all the action into the last like twenty minutes in the movie. So that's the only parts that I really didn't like. I wasn't super excited about, but you know, I love the Avengers. I love Marvel, so I was happy about was it. Was there any post-credit shit? Because Marvel loves. Oh yeah, shit. make sure you stay after the credits. There's like two, two like yeah. things. I'm not gonna spoil anything, dude. Chill the fuck out. There's two things. One that happens after like the short credits at the beginning, and then there's one that happens at the very end of the long ass credits. The second one, don't worry about staying. It's just like a little blooper. I don't know. It's not. Stay anyways. Don't it's not important at all. So, yeah. uh, no, I'm interested. The first Usually, one, they're they're like hints for a sequel. Oh, there's definitely going to be a sequel. In case you're wondering. No right. shit, it's made like a billion <laughs> dollars. What the fuck? Yeah, it's had the biggest opening of like any movie ever. So it beat out Harry Potter and whatever. So I don't know. It was a good movie. Good experience. Wish I didn't have to wait two hours in line to watch it but all right out of 12 the eggs rating what do you give it i give it a nine out of 12 <coughs> holy blasphemy holy blasphemy okay <laughs> it could have been just because like okay i was in a theater full of stupid people i hate when people clap at the screen like the actors can hear them like something happens and they all just start clapping i'm like i can't hear what's happening because everybody's clapping and whooping that's why you don't get and again, everybody and their serious. grandma brought their kid and the kids were all like did you see it did you see it did you see it did you see it oh kid? my god look at that that's and you know, the other lady that's to the right of me is looking at her phone every five minutes it's like taking it on a tuesday there's this other family like in the back left who's like repeating every goddamn line they could possibly imagine in the whole movie is just like i don't know is there anybody really standing up buy a personal theater and watch it there by yourself <laughs> you buy a, a personal theater better experience i mean rent out well, we got tiny ones down here with uh, reclining chairs or wait until like you know a wednesday afternoon where like everybody who's just, anybody's got work tuesday before. i said a wednesday shut up i hear like, tuesday Half price. Shut up. Anyway. Save your dollars. God. Don't watch it full of like. Save your knickers. People that want to watch movies and ruin it for you. I don't know why you keep saying knickers. (laughs) Shut up. Let him continue. Shut up. Oh, I'm done. That's. Well, we still have the best superhero movie left to come out, and that's The Dark Knight Rises. Uh, Oh, what are you going to say? Spider Man? Oh, Spider Man's going to be better than Avengers. I. My predictions. Batman, Spider-Man, Avengers. Those are I can't the top. See it topping it like in sales and stuff like ticket-wise. I'm I think. not saying okay. sales. I'm just saying better movie overall. Eh, I hope so. I like. I think Dark Knight. I like it more just because it's a more serious like take on the whole superhero type deal. So. Uh, have, uh, have any of you guys seen the the Chernobyl what? movie? I don't the know trailer. what the fuck you said. The Chernobyl movie trailer. It's, it's yeah. It looks Chernobyl Diaries. Terrible. Yeah. The I, I think I want to watch it. What is it? It's, it's kind of like the Hill Boys. Yeah, but it's in Chernobyl where the... The radio... Yeah, yeah, the old nuclear facility, like... Nuclear facility yeah. melted down and made everything uninhabitable, and there's this group of... Is it of like court. a zombie movie? Like, what kind of movie is it? Alright, they don't show you what it is. It's, it's going to be mutated or people or something, or animals, and they kill just what we need well uh that's it for what's cracking that's all we got unless anybody has anything else they want to talk about yeah hopefully you guys won't but yeah hopefully you guys won't bought shit yeah we won't be bringing aiden on anymore we'll get scorp back yeah i'm about to shoot aiden in the goddamn <laughs> throat so he can't ever talk again uh you want to do we'll say? I will fucking duel the shit out of you. You won't fucking live to see tomorrow. So uh, good old fashioned boomerang duel. Uh no, I'm gonna take <laughs> so your fucking sword and you know slice your goddamn trachea if you can't breathe. We'll throw a boomerang at you. It's gonna miss and then it's gonna hit you in the back of the head. I'll have and to go pull my pack of dingoes and send them after your children. <laughs> I don't have any children, so. 
You don't go to an ankle bite as a ring? Shut up. Oh, my God. Okay, well, that's it for What's Cracking episode 19. I hope everybody enjoyed it. Yo, like, subscribe, what all, whatever you feel is necessary. to. Yeah. Uh, right about now, there's going to be a little annotation. It's going to say uh, thumbs up for Aiden. Make sure you hit it. No. <laughs> if you want me to kill Aiden, please leave a comment. In the, uh... <laughs> you want to see me come back next week? Don't say anything. <laughs> Make sure you, you leave a thumbs up. No, you better specifically ask. They're gonna ask thumbs it up because it's an awesome podcast. They're not gonna thumbs thumbs it up if you liked it. Dislike if you want eight to go. No, don't dislike no, no, it at no, all. Just, dude. just leave a comment. You know, what, just like the video, and we're gonna get rid of Aiden. That's about it. Yeah. No, no. Whether he likes so, it or sign not, petition, sign Aiden's petition. gonna die. No. Down there. Down in the. De- Whatever. The Scooter signing out. Yeah. The Dex Box. Cracking nineteen. We'll be back here next week, and uh, yeah. thanks for watching. Peace out. Peace.